So the goal for today is to get it uncoiled and all the way up the hill. I'm so nervous that this thing's just gonna explode when I cut it. I think I've come to the point where I realize where everybody gets frustrated. Kinda looks like the geese have come out here to bear witness and laugh at me and my failure. Is that what you guys are doing? So I got a little project here on the farm today. As a lot of you guys know, we are getting ready to have cattle show up here on the farm for the first time ever. And one of the projects I have to do, I have to do it really in order to make sure that my cows can be happy and healthy is I need to add some water lines around the farm. And so that's the plan for today's video. About a month or two ago, I got a good deal on some HDPE tubing. There's about 3000 feet right there. To get a line from my hydrant, which is right over there, all the way up to the top of the hill, I'm gonna need about 800 feet or so today. So I just need to use one roll today for this one first portion. I'll be using Large Marge, my handy dandy tractor. Be sure and tell them Large Marge sent ya. <laughs> As a means for getting it out there. And I might even try to use Large Marge to help me keep from having this coil explode when I cut it because uh, eventually I have to cut it. That means it's all the tubing's gonna go everywhere and I'm gonna have a mess on my hands. Hey Toby Dog, how's it going there buddy? Now for those of you guys who want that closer view of what exactly I'm gonna do today. So this is my water hydrant. It runs from our well that we have here on the farm. And so my plan is basically run the hose down to here and then run it entirely along the fence line <laughs> all the way up through here. Eventually the new winter housing for the geese is gonna go here, but not quite ready for that yet. But the tubing is going to run all along that fence line, all the way up the hill, up to the top of the hill that you can see up there. I think from the point I'm standing at right now, that's about 750, maybe 800 feet. So that's about how much I need. So the goal for today is to get it uncoiled and all the way up the hill. That seems relatively easy and straightforward, and so I think I can pull this one off. I'm working solo today, so... This might be a little tricky for me. Hey, runner ducks. How's it going, guys? You guys are starting to get your adult feathers. You're looking good. Geese, what are you doing? Knocking over my egg basket. That's what you're doing. So this is the only gate that's large enough for me to fit the tractor through, so got to open it up and get here. All right, animals, don't go through this open gate. Don't want an animal disaster today. Toby, what do we do when we see an open gate? That's right, we do yoga. So I'm starting kind of almost at the midpoint of where I want to put this hose. The reason for that is I'm expecting this thing to go in a lot of different directions once I open it up. And so I figure having the base of it at the midpoint of where I need it to go will make it easier to uncoil. We are definitely going to see. I'm trying to use my pallet forks to kind of cradle it. I think that it also bears mentioning that I decided to bring a whole bunch of bungees and ratchet straps to control the chaos. Not exactly sure how I'm gonna do this, but let's give it a shot. So I feel like the addition of the bungee straps either is gonna make this so much easier or it did nothing at all. There really is only one way to find out. Careful, Toby. You're probably not gonna to wanna to be here when this thing goes off. I'm so nervous that this thing's just gonna explode when I cut it. All right, so far so good. I might have been making a big deal over nothing. All right, it pretty much perfectly held in place. See, maybe I don't need this one either. <laughs> well, the bungee just disintegrated. I 
I know I'm just getting started, but so far this has not been bad. I mean, got to do a little work to straighten it and pull all the way down, but I've seen so many videos of people having horrible trouble using this type of tubing, and I'm not finding it that bad at all. Let's see if I can get it pulled all the way down to where I want to start, down there, and then from there, I'm trying to straighten it out. The only hard part is I don't seem to be able to get it around the bend of the fence. So I ran out of length. I think I've come to the point where I realize where everybody gets frustrated. It's really easy to start with, but then once you get it off the spool, it can tangle on itself, like I feel like I've done here. I think what I need to do is tie this section off so it doesn't keep spooling out. Kind of looks like the geese have come out here to bear witness and laugh at me and my failure. Is that what you guys are doing? Huh? Alright, that should give me enough length to get all the way down to the end of the fence. Oh look, see one of our mother ducks? That black Cayuga duck right there. The little ones must be with the other two moms. See where we can find them. Oh, there they are. You guys see them? They're all hanging in the milkweed grove. Hey guys! They've started to integrate in with the rest of our deck flock, so that's a good sign. Sorry, didn't mean to get distracted there. Just love watching the birds on this farm. I do have this whole thicket that I gotta get around. Probably should have mowed it before I did this. All right, right about here is right where I want it. This way I have a nice easy run right from the water station. Just gonna thread this through here. You know, if I had to do this over again, I actually think I would have started the whole reel at wherever I was gonna start or end. It's uh, just seems easier, I guess. To just sort of roll it and unspool it. I guess I was so worried about it exploding upon cutting it apart. I uh, took too many proactive measures to prevent issues there. Makes it a little harder, but not bad. Would you look at that? Went through all that effort to hook it to the fence and it came unhooked. Come on. So you know, one other th interesting thing about this spot over here, about, I don't know, I guess it was winter solstice 2019, we had a huge bonfire. It was from some old wood and debris and so, I'm always reluctant to mow because there's still a little bit of metal in here. That's definitely something I need to clean out before the cows get here. I don't know if before they get here is going to happen, but definitely before they can graze in this spot. Take that big old rock. Use it to help shape my corner. You now the trick is I want the hose pinned to the rock, but not crushing it. So I think I got it in the right spot. I'm not too worried about getting the hose down too low because once I get some water running through it, the weight will push it down. The bigger thing I'm watching for are kinks. You don't want kinks in the hose. If I don't undo this kink, the hose will rupture. So seeing as I'm at the halfway point, I actually made the executive decision to cut the tube. I'm gonna wanna run a cross line down this way, across the pasture anyway some point in the next year or so. And so this is gonna be a connection point. There's gonna be connection points too going all the way up the hill. So I'm gonna have a connection point pretty much at every alley between the trees that you can see up that hill. That way as I'm grazing my cattle, I can just run the water line down to where they are from this sort of main junction that's running through here. And in case you're curious about how I cut it, I just use one of these pipe cutter dealies you can get at your local hardware store. Just sort of ratchets down. Keeps going and boom, nice and easy. I prefer the tool over just using a knife because it gives you just such a nice, clean, straight cut. So the hydrant by the well, 
I want to connect down there. So I'm going to need this length for doing that. That leaves me with this stuff left. Kind of wondering what's the best way to roll it down there, given some of the lessons that I've now learned. All right, Toby Dog, what do you think? Looking good? It's a lot of line we got here. A thousand feet. So I feel like I've reached the victory point for today. So I've got a thousand foot line running from here all the way to the hydrant. Thought I was gonna get all the way to the top of the hill, but I think I'm a little short. Not by much though. If uh, I hadn't cut out that length, might just make it. I'm gonna leave it long because I'll be back soon to do more water lines. As I've said, my plan is to pretty much have connection points all and up and down this hill. That way I can run a hose up and down the alleys to water the cattle as they're grazing up here. I'll say the second method went a lot faster, but it was much harder work. <laughs> Whew, still winded. Just uh, wrestling that tubing up isn't as easy as it may seem. Ooh, look at these apples. Probably gonna be very sour. Not bad, it's actually getting pretty close. We have a lot of good cider apple trees around this farm. 